Hello sheeple, today I want to speak to you about the usual unpleasant subject, probably horrendous, media halls, and I want to end up summing up pretty much what I think about uh, the state of, the, of our entire world, our entire existence. I'll start I guess with the line... Uh, from the uh, from the Joker movie, slightly adapted. We thought our lives were tragedies, but now we realise they're comedies. Look at the state of both us and our world. We are depraved morons, and our planet is a hellhole. A large part of the reason for this is maliciously twisted information, shaping our belief systems, leading to horrifying actions such as war. The conduit for this information is our educational institutions and our governments using the mainstream media halls. The very whores that have launched a major campaign on claimed misinformation from alternative media and anyone who disagrees with the mainstream lies. This is the usual 180 degree inversion of the truth. They don't just change things a little bit. There's often uh, usually just complete inversions. It should actually make it easier for us to uh, recognize. I don't know if there's any reason why they so many 180 degree inversions. Maybe that is there a, is that a satanic ritual reason? Is that just, a, you know, they're just like completely inverted in the truth? I mean, anyway. Us delusional, supposedly sentient sheeple have to be constantly lied to to keep us breathtakingly ignorant, and it's working, unfortunately. Our entire Western civilizations were built on genocide, the blood of innocent people, and we continue to feed on pain inflicted uh, onto others. Our educational institutions and the mainstream media halls propagandize us to actually believe that we are now decently governed civilizations, as opposed to filthy murderers under the elites. Only under the elites, though. We'd be fine if we well, reasonable if we weren't. We often get told it's, uh, it's all in the past. Uh, generations ago that all the atrocities were committed, but that evil that committed those atrocities, uh, those horrendous crimes, has gone nowhere. It's alive and kicking stronger than ever. Um, we're often told that those were, uh, that we conquered were pri primitive savages anyway. Don't dwell on the past. Look to the future. We should know where we came from. So we'll take a look uh, in the past. Maybe not in this video. Let's talk about the power of the influence of the uh, mainstream media halls. Take the recently departed Queen of England as an example, the lizard birth the second. She's not even English, possibly not even human, as incredible as that sounds. But she's anyway, she's from an incestuous line of Nazis that flaunts diamonds and gold stolen from victims of her imperialism. England has never even had a gold mine. The royals have a hell of a lot more than a mere connection to satanic child rape and ritualistic torture. They are high-level uh, Freemasons, as them and every world leader is owned by a satanic cult. 
You know at least that the the George Bush and and family are skull and bones. And you should already know, this is already enough to know, that the world is run by cults. You already know that the most powerful men, supposedly, presidents in America, the most powerful war machine uh, there ever was, all cult members, all world leaders are cult members. The world is run by those cults not by the faces that you see. Queen Elizabeth knew perfectly well why 100,000 children in England and around 8 million kids worldwide go missing every year, and that's not counting children specifically bred in secret locations for the sole purpose of satanic uh, sacrifice and the harvesting of adrenochrome. I'll include a link to uh, Jeanette Archer, uh, who explains this a lot better. She was one of the few surviving victims of this horrific abuse. How can it be possible that even sheeple of nations butchered by this reptilian monster, Queen of Elizabeth, uh, or her subjects, minions, they still revere her often. They, they miss her parting, they miss her as a, as a mother. It's hard even for me to I guess to shake an image of the Queen smiling in golden splendour, gracefully allowing us to live in her realm. And oh my God, would you be privileged to meet this living fairy tale giving you a glorious memory uh, you will cherish for the rest of your life. The mainstream media halls and our educational upbringing have acted like a massive PR firm and brainwashed us into loving a sadistic and merciless reptilian monster. A few mild, overly diplomatic complaints were aired by the mainstream media halls like, um, oh, we don't really recognise her as our queen. And we don't really appreciate the colonization. What they really, really mean is this brutal, torturous, megalomaniac bitch can burn in hell. We don't want to wish this on anyone, but her crimes are so horrendous, an ordinary person cannot even envision them. Of course, a loving memory of the Queen will be created by the media whores and the royal family will continue to live in exquisite luxury that of course we will pay for. And there's probably not much point in getting rid of them if we're not going to get rid of our governments as well. I mean, take a look at the American presidents, presidents of the most powerful nation in the world, big war machine. Most were related, all rich, all cult owned. They might as well be a royal bloodline. And it's no more, uh, America is no more democratic, uh, or less democratic than your country. If the media whores can get us to love a filthy reptilian monster, is there anything they can't get us to believe? All our incredible technological advancements, all the wonderful things every politician in the world was going to do, all the power and wealth religious men of God, like in the Vatican, have to help any who suffer. The Vatican's pretty evil, guys, so very sarcastic there. All the time we've had to grow from sheeple to people and grow physically, mentally, spiritually. And what, what have we achieved? What have we got? Half the world in either abject poverty or just struggling to make ends meet. Wars, more wars, 
abuses in every single institution we have. The military, the justice systems, our, our parliaments, our charities, all of them. And we're way too busy scamming each other, resenting each other, fighting, robbing each other to ever do anything to stop this. The mainstream media whores aren't going to tell us that our civilization is a ginormous scam. To be fair, they probably don't even know or care, just picking up their paycheck. Many powerful sheeple are probably completely unaware of the real goal and that they too will also suffer. They might think they're part of the big club, but most of them, you're not. All the elites have to do is keep, uh, to keep feeding off of us, is keep us alive. Some of us. They don't have to keep us happy, or healthy, or intelligent. In fact, that would make us dangerous to them. So, they're not doing that. They're doing the opposite. We're dumbed down, dependent on drugs, mental disorders, endless disorders, and there's a hell of a lot more of them with the poke thing. Not to mention chemtrails, super radiation, another video, I guess. And anyway, they're not even going to keep all of us alive. They're going to rid, they're going to get rid of most of us because either we've uh, become useless to them for some reason, or they're just, there's just more of us than they need, or whatever. The world is not overpopulated, that is another of a million lies. They're going to use the poke and war and intentional food shortages and quite a few other methods to cull most of us and control the survivors completely. They'll control them mentally, physically and spiritually, everything. You probably wouldn't want to be a survivor if this doesn't come to a stop. They want to bring about major change, major and horrendous societal changes. The One World Government. You may remember the media whores having a rave about the disappearance of uh, Madeleine McCann and a few other individual children. And apparently the authorities wanted to move heaven and earth to find one child out of thousands in their respective countries. Why are the mainstream media putting on a, uh, this show for us over a couple of kids and never letting on about the true extent of children vanishing into apparently elusive child traffic, trafficking gangs, sold to the rich and powerful worldwide, like Queen Elizabeth, the Elizabeth II. The only gangs powerful enough to get away with this kind of evil and be protected by the media halls and the police are our governments. No other gang could possibly do this. And a few surviving victims of this satanic child torture have identified high-ranking political figures as well as many royals. Governments ultimately control all the drugs. Look how ridiculous the war on drugs was. And they serve the elites. Obviously not us. Have you heard of Fulan Gong or Fulan Daffa? Maybe pronouncing that wrong. Fulan Gong, F-A-L-U-N, Gong, G-O-N-G, or Daffa, D-A-F-A. It's a Chinese spiritual exercise for the body and mind, and it looks absolutely beautiful and awesome. It got very big in China, and the Chinese government deemed uh, it a threat. So they drugged many of the spiritual leaders and practitioners and harvested their organs 
whilst they were still alive and burned the evidence, their bodies, just like they do to our children. This is the elites via all our governments, not just in China. I'll post some links to this. It's well worth considering joining. I certainly am, as soon as I stop being so damn lazy. Got to get focused. Many of us sheeple and our astonishing ignorance thought uh, that another politician would save us. Uh, a fat, corrupt businessman named Donald Trump was going to expose all the paedophile rings and drain the swamp. All he actually did was tell us to get poked uh, because it's a wonderful treatment, apparently. If this surprises you, you have a lot to learn. A lot to learn. We'll try. Media whores find it easy to control us. The biggest demonstration ever anywhere in the world was an anti-war uh, protest against the uh, Iraq war in 2003. It got less coverage than Amber Heard and her turd uh, or a Will Smith slap. Don't get me wrong, I love a bit of celebrity gossip or shenanigans, uh, but not as a higher priority than the prevention of war or to be used as an obvious distraction. The, the government pushed on, of course, therefore, with another immoral war, despite millions of citizens' magnanimous uh, attempts to stop it, and all thanks to the media whores. They just got ignored. Millions, millions of people trying to stop death and destruction and suffering. Just ignored. And what's with this ludicrous coverage and shenanigans on the war in Ukraine? Ukraine was a US puppet governed, infighting, Nazi plagued shithole well before the Ruskies showed up. Sorry to sound so harsh, but that's how it was. I guess that's why America and other countries are sending so much money, so much money and weapons to uh, uh, Ukraine. But it's all just a media-induced theatre. Uh, we the sheeple are being played like a piano as usual. Thousands of untrained Ruskies can afford to be sent to a war whether they like it or not. Don't think Ukraine or your government wouldn't do the same when they feel they can get away with things like that. It's all mainstream media whore, media whore theatre. Zelensky, Putin, Biden, all the world's puppet leaders work for the elites, all on the same team. Why is this war in Ukraine, which is minuscule in comparison to other conflicts, being presented to us to be the be all and end all of uh, all wars to lead to the final war, uh, World War Three. It's affecting, magically affecting food, energy, diplomatic relations everywhere in the world. Uh, uh, I guess uh, the invasion of Iraq over the weapons of mass destruction nonsense didn't really matter according to the mainstream media whores, or 20 years of death and destruction in Afghanistan uh, over the 9-11 inside job wasn't really uh, as important, wasn't nearly as important. According to the mainstream media whores, infiltration by professional troublemakers trashing Libya and Syria, creating thousands of immigrants fleeing to Europe. Who cares? bullying the crap out of uh, Iran, claiming the usual human rights abuses, and the wonderful West has to go in and save anywhere. Abuses that the West commits every day of the week somewhere in the world. This uh, bullying of uh, uh, Iran started from around 1980, and we're, we're starting to do this. It seems to be starting up again uh, with uh, that thing about the, uh, the murder of the young girl by the morality police. Don't doubt that there will be more mainstream media who lies surrounding this than there are grains of sand in a desert. Israel is allowed to torture and kill anyone they feel like. Mainstream media whores don't care about that. They're fine with that. 
What about all the pain in uh, Serbia, Kosovo, Yugoslavia, Tanya, Panama, Yemen, and more? Doesn't matter. Media whores say they're not worth a mention. Only Ukraine matters, and you must get angry and go and murder the Ruskies. The rich and powerful will enjoy front row seats to watch the slaughter and the mass sacrificial murder of us ridiculous sheeple in World War Three would probably give the elites an orgasm. Mainstream media halls news today, certainly when I turn on the telly, consists mostly of advertisements, celebrity gossip, uh, wovid and climate mange, power-grabbing propaganda, and a bit of sport where professional athletes are used to promote political agendas, i.e. complete and absolute malicious murderous crap. Please don't let them get rid of the alternate media and free speech. It's our only chance. Alternate media is infiltrated to an extent as everything good is, but if you're careful, then you can be informed. The likes of Julian Assange, who brought us actual news and the truth, uh, has had his life taken away and he rots in prison and it hurts that we do nothing to support him or his like. Genuine whistleblowers and alternate media could be taking considerable risk, considerable risk to bring you the truth. Many because they believe it's the right thing to do and many uh, because they believe that under God they should help fellow sheeple. The moonlight fades with the morning glow. Good night, sheeple.